breaking the news at 5.30. A new study shows a structured lifestyle program that targets multiple, multiple risk factors can actually slow brain decline in older adults. That means eating right, being active, and being mindful can lower your risk of getting Alzheimer's or another dementia. We are joined now by Sarah Harlock, the program director of the Dent Integrative Center for Memory, to talk more about this recent study. So I guess let's first talk about how long this study went on for and how many people were you know, interviewed and studied throughout it. So it was really exciting news, but there was this study lasted uh, two years, but they are also continuing it. They have additional funding to be able to continue this for another few years. And so they will follow these same participants and then they will also be looking at adding more people and bringing people these programs to people's communities. Mm. Awesome. So there were over 2,000 people included in this study, and it was a randomized study. They looked at patients who were, or sorry, people who were um, cognitively well between the ages of 60 and 79 and who had um, perhaps not the best lifestyle habits. Mm. So mm. they didn't exercise regularly, and their diet was maybe not the best. Sure. And so they put them into two different groups. And so one group was structured. They had lots of meetings. They had a lot of people, you know, a lot of touch points. People would call. There'd be a lot of group activity and so on. Just sort of keeping people on track, providing more education and support through the process. And then the other group was self-guided, meaning that they were given information. They had fewer meetings but it, they were really left on their own to implement these strategies and really try to improve their condition. And the results were really astounding. They, they absolutely have shown that these lifestyle factors, so exercise, uh, diet, these people were following something called the MIND diet, mm -hmm. which is a combination of Mediterranean and DASH. Um, then also engaging in the mindfulness activities, the brain stimulation activities, so some brain training games, and then including some social activities as well, because we know that that's incredibly important to people's cognition. These are oh. such big developments. And if you've seen, and actually there were stories yesterday we featured here on News 4, you may be seeing other things throughout the week. A lot of this information is coming from this conference that is still happening now in Toronto. And among these very, this big study with these big results is buried in there modest changes. So if people, yeah. if you just make small changes to your lifestyle, get up and walk, take the flight of stairs yeah. instead of the elevator, eat maybe a few more vegetables. What does this mean for people who have been like yourself at the forefront of studying Alzheimer's, treating it, being with patients, and also of course for us like the Alzheimer's Association, these are big developments for the first time in many cases in years. Yes. So very exciting. Um, what this sort of study means is that we have control. I mean, a lot of people just thought that memory loss and dementia and Alzheimer's was inevitable or something that they really didn't have any way of, of avoiding. Mm -hmm. And this really shows that we do. This oh. shows that we can make significant um, strides in reducing our risk of cognitive impairment. I think the exercise one is kind of self-explanatory, yeah. you know, go for a walk, that sort of thing. But the diet, I want you to go further into that. The Mediterranean diet, for people who don't know what that is, explain that. And then you said another word. Mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't even know what that right. other word was. So the MIND diet was actually developed at Rush University and studied there. And it is a combination of the Mediterranean diet and the DASH diet. And so the Mediterranean diet focuses a lot on fish and... Um, fresh fruits and vegetables, whole grains, that sort of healthy thing. Healthy oils. Very healthy oils, not a lot of red meat and not a lot of sugar. Um, and then the other diet is the DASH diet. That's the diet that is used to try and reduce hypertension or mm. high blood pressure. So, um, so it, the MIND diet is really a combination of the two and, um, and they found it to be very effective. Um, the standard American diet has a lot of processed food in it, and these two diets do not. And that is where one of the big changes, because when food is processed, there are things that are sort of put in it to make it more shelf-stable and appetizing and so on. So 
we get a lot of sugars uh, put into it, a lot of salt is added to our processed foods and so on at times. And uh, stacked up, that stuff can be bad for you. Sarah, how do you think the medical community will react to this? Do you think more doctors or others who deal with this disease um, and, and the patients that are affected by it, do you think they will react? Do you think what? Do they just enhance what they tell their patients about lifestyle changes? Or do you think the medical community can really get around something like this and make some positive change? I think it can, yeah. um, but I do think that it's going to be a whole public health um, okay. approach. It isn't just having the doctors or the nurse practitioners or uh, healthcare providers you know, talking about this. That will be helpful. But it's really going to take programming, opportunity in community, um, there, it, there's really going to need to be a strong effort around implementing these things. So, yeah, well said. absolutely. All right, Sarah, thank you so much for joining us. So informative. Very thank you, Sarah. informative. Yes. Really appreciate very it. Very important information.